one of our telegram group member rahul verma requested to learn this decoding text animation in adobe premiere pro but since this is not possible in premiere pro we need to use a preset because this text animation can be created easily in after effects so i jumped in after effects and created this preset for the premiere pro you can download this from our telegram group the link is in the description section below now let me show you how you can install it and use it in premiere pro first of all you have to download this from my telegram group so after downloading you will get this zip file so you need to extract this zip file so once you will extract it you will see these two forget files inside it one is for vertical and one is for the horizontal all right so what you have to do you have to just either go to the essential graphics panel in the premiere pro and then you need to just drag and drop these over here the moment you will drop these would be right over here you can see these would be added to your motion graphics and if you just hover over it you will see the preview so all you have to do just drag and drop it over your timeline so you can see this is the preset if you play it this is how it looks okay and now let me show you how you can customize it so for that purpose you need to go to the essential graphics and in the edit if you select this edit would already be selected all right so from here you can change your text so you can type your text over here or you can write anything i'm just showing you and from here you can change its font so by default i have used the unisense font but you can try different font if you want so you can choose basically any font you like and then we have other text options you can customize all of these you can see make it fox bold you can make it italic you can make it all caps or small caps so it's all up to you all right you can even change the size of the text with the help of this slider so you can make it small or big you can change the fill color from here so if you want the text to be black let it be black or something else like this and then we have the option of drop shadow so if you want to increase or decrease the drop shadow opacity so if you lower down the opacity that means you are not going to see the shadow and if you increase it the shadow would be darker so first let me change the text to something a font to something else like this or like okay let's do this one and then we have other option and that is to either change the color of the background so if you click over here you can change this color to let's say black or if you want you can change it to something else like blue and if you don't want any color on the background so suppose if i drag it on my timeline and now if i don't want the background color so what i can do i can just move this slider way down to zero percent so that's going to decide the opacity so now you have only the text on the screen so now suppose if you want to just move it down so just go to the effects control panel and from here either you can select the motion and then you can place it anywhere you like so that's the simple and easiest way to use it so download it from my telegram group so my telegram group is this one so from here you will find this preset just download it and install it and if you want to learn the viral reel editing techniques in premiere pro check out this playlist